so my sage is really earning his keep that's two sites two sites he's found out of well searching two places jeez lucky i'm so happy i hired him all right we found enchanted tower is that one of the places you put a guy in and you get units every turn wind tunnel gotcha that'll give me some air yeah well okay i took the copper wood so i'm borrowing it we're gonna build a lab we're gonna get to hire a few nature mages and then we're gonna gonna give it back and he gets a lab out of the deal plus i paid him money too i need to check this are we just to see if i need to adjust the battlefield further First, they're following as support. We still to do the lion share of the fighting. I think I could be a little closer. Yeah, get that fear in. Do your thing. It's taking some hits, but with this many hit points. These guys are just getting a little XP, which is good for them. Yeah, don't take injuries though. Okay, Shem we lost to, but well, Heathman, they hit hard. They hit really hard, so honestly we got off lightly. Hopefully we didn't take too many terrible injuries. Welcome. Okay, that's meaningless. Another person sneaking over my capital. They keep doing that. They really want to know how many troops are in my capital, don't they? Everyone wants to know. Alright, we've completed one of our walls. So, I really need to start hiring troops. Oh, we're going to equip guys and go in the sea now. It's going to be great. Um, but... Let's getting pushed. Well, we're pushing down here, so... We're flooding this cavern. There might be a site here. We're flooding this cavern with our candles. At this point... He might push them out again and hire all of these additional mercs. But, uh, Ulm has... Ulm is not there to help. Aramore, he's allied himself with Atlantis. I'm 99% positive of that. Honestly, I think Atlantis should have just built temples and tried to Dom kill him strategically. But they didn't, so here we are. Oh, uh, right, so. Well, a lot of things. I need to hire troops, I, I feel the need. But we're gonna sort out our expenditures of tax first. So this No oh, way, those are hard to club guys. No, 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 no. We don't go that way. Oh, these guys are Oh, yeah, that that's mm, yeah, that, that one first. And I don't have that thing to cure diseases yet. Uh, go for that one. That'll be a good income. This... We need a fort here. <laughs> um... Yeah, that one's gonna wait. Uh, these guys will have to have a hand in that. I think we'll have to have... We might even put the line together with them in one assault together. There's a nasty caveman clump here we have to get to first. But it's also quite valuable, so we gotta get it. I might actually end up just putting the armies together in the tunnels of lost, and then marching them with crystal fields before splitting back apart. Because, holy crap. 
All right, meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile. Yeah, okay, that side is doing what it's supposed to do. And all this well. Okay, next up. No! You only had to live another day and I could have given you the cure. He can't make it. The cure should be coming in tomorrow. <sighs> unfortunate. I'm sure we'll have use for it to cure different people, but I'm gonna end up renting it out. I'm gonna end up renting it out a bunch. All right, we have a quick. You need. So you're hitting for 16, 14, 14. Boom. <laughs> Plus five. That's quite a bit better. Um, I'm gonna give you this, and oh, number twenty-four is awful nice. This twenty-two comes with some pretty good perks, like not panicking and running. Or I could just let you hit them a whole bunch. Oh, see, this is an accessory. Um, yeah, you know what? Mm. Yeah, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that's that's the build right there. That's what you do. You rip and tear. You regenerate. You have freaking good protection, plus a vulnerability. Thirty-one against mundane attacks. That's gotta be good enough, right? I have no idea how it calculates that this is worth three, but I'll, I'll just take what I can get. Okay, next. You. You hit once for 41. No, no, no. You hit twice for 38. Hold on. 15, 38. It also boosts his accuracy a ton, and I know it has another plus two versus shields on top of that. Check this out! Yeah, his defense is terrible, but uh, that's what protection is for. I'm gonna give you the other one, and I'm gonna give you the she shoes. Add in a kick, now you're making three attacks around. This one could be repelled, but Morale's pretty good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We temper, uh, of course, and that'll just make that even better. And finally, we have a you. Shoes bird. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna be hitting people like eight times a turn with the bird. And you're gonna kick them. And you're gonna stab them. Please tell me this is good enough. This has to be good enough. I could give you the helm as well. The added morale might help you get your kicks in. The dark vision might matter in some of the sea tiles. I feel like it's wasted on you. I feel like it's wasted on you. Um... Okay, and you've got a big-ass shield. So... On the surface, you have the lowest protection. But you got the shield. So, it's not really so bad. It's the werewolf I'm most concerned about. Because, um... You know... No shield, no accompanying mechanical men. Okay, combat speed is 10, 10, 10. This is good. Okay, now we need to sort out their fighting scheme. So, the first thing that's gonna happen is. 
copper armor followed by personal stone skin. I don't think they're going to use cold against me. Then, attack closest enemy. Okay, temper armor, stone skin. Okay. Personal form. Where's that shield? I don't have it yet. Temper armor. Personal stone skin. Could put an air shield on. And that means your objective is hold hold. Attack the closest enemy. Now where is it? Is it under? There's an air earth cross um, cross path. There it is. It's under enchantment. My Cyclops could do this. Then he'd have a shield as well. I want it. Oh, can't be used underwater anyway. Okay. Well, never mind. I guess there's a. Water shields, but I don't think he's very. Yeah, he doesn't have actual water magic. My Aquanaut doesn't know how to water. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in the middle of the map. Maybe I should put them to the front, maybe I should put them to the back, maybe I should put the werewolf behind them so they can soak hits. hoping that the werewolf gets hit with temper armor because it's got the lowest protection score when uh, you add the stone skin to these guys maybe also natural armor and armor merge together weirdly too all right you guys are done we are going into the sea I really hope this doesn't kick my butt with some weird unexpected spellcaster or something. It has to be either the Throne of Night or the Throne of Might. Hmm. I hope it's the Throne of Night, just because I don't want anybody being good at fighting in the dark. Because I have a lot of guys in the dark. You are going to need a water ring. So why don't you go over here... I'm tempted to have you preach this up. Uh, we need to... Uh, you're another sight search. Well, I don't have a ton of options who can craft water rings. So... I'm gonna have you forge a... Ring of Water Breathing. As much as I'd like to have you craft, uh... Well, I guess it's fine. Uh, it's fine. So, you'll craft the Ring of Water Breathing. And then, uh, we'll give it to Boji. And then Boji can claim the throne. And probably build a temple in there. Okay, next up, next up. What are we doing next? Uh, good question. We have ever so many things. You two have done your job. I am not entirely sure what I'm doing with you guys just now. Hello. Big army you got there, buddy. I looked up Fort Tube the other day, and it's pretty intense. It's the best Earth ability, having all physical damage. We're gonna kind of go to random places and just patrol a little bit. Sure. Okay, you are now on patrol. 
do need to add a temple. We're going to need to make this a walled city as well, but that'll give us stuff. Okay, good job, guys! Oh, it's Earth. Okay. Man, yeah! Good, good stuff. We need to forge things. Um... You guys are going to have to go here, which you can do in one step. That's actually pretty good. Great. Okay. You'll site search there, and maybe the swamp, and then you're just going to, you know, run around and get that. Right. Okay. What next? This site. Constructing a lab so we can start hiring. Very important. Okay. Next up. I do want to build a fort here. I do, but we're short on cash and we really do need to get to hiring again. Let's consider what else. Okay, we're going to there and there. This needed... Nothing. It's perfect. Begin recruiting Zots. Awesome. Something, perhaps? Oh, yeah. What I need most is to make these hammers. It requires Earth 3. So, it's gonna have to be done by you. Hold on. <laughs> Hammer, make. Ham. Alright, we should be able to bang out a hammer every turn for a little while. Okay, next up. You, I've been needing you to go up for... I've been needing death searchers for a while. You... Please don't get, um, horror marked, okay? You're gonna begin searching here. Our first searcher! Okay, this needs to be... It is... You could just live one more day. Alright, I'm gonna need one of this. That's 25. That should be good enough, right? So that'll be kind of patrolling here. Uh, and then we're gonna start recruiting these guys up here. Henceforth. For the time being, I would like you guys using the hammers for this, but they're just not ready yet. Begin with the quills. We're going to be making a whole lot of those. I won't push the automate button until he's got the hammer in his hands. Alright, this needs to be... This one needs to be a fort, and it needs, um... I'd love to build temples, but, um, somebody's running out of money here! That's a lot of unrest. Don't know what to do about all the unrest. Alright, next turn will be up another almost 200 gold there. That's good. Alright, what are you up to? You are searching. You! And another person who wants to build temples. I want to put temples everywhere. So... Was there... With one... You can't forge anything for me right now. You're gonna go. We're not gonna be summoning any more of those in a while, for a while. Okay. You are going to forge an owl quill. Just 
temporarily a bunch of researchers are going to be too busy forging stuff. So temporarily our research will stutter. However, long term... Long term it's going to go up quite a bit. Alright, researchers online. Wait, no. You two can go there, or your research would be better. Okay, you live there, though. Yay! <laughs> Researching! Alright, yeah. So that'll be the full sense. We'll be able to hire a bunch more, um, guys. A bunch of places are probably going to start getting Archons. These guys are going to be important in the near future. Alright, we now have a choice. We have just a smidge left over. We could install one temple. Or we could begin hiring... I could hire a hundred of these guys. For 800 gold. Five to a tile. Spiel, spear wall repelling seems the best thing for fighting Ulm, which feels like an inevitability. So, which do we want more? If it's a temple, it'll help over here. It'll spread our scales, which will increase our income. It will, uh income and our growth, it will also help the lion fight in his battles. It's actually worth quite a bit to uh, have more candles. If I hire troops... Yeah, I'm too much paper tigering right now. Let's go ahead. We'll hire a big ol' heap of those. So, yeah, that's not too many. So I do have another option. I could make PD. That is an option. Heaps of them everywhere we can. They'll join in our patrols and, uh. I don't think this place needs, needs it as much. This place is kind of, um. What happened here? Huh, he's having problems. Problems I'm not worried about right now. Alright, let's see. I'll hire some anyway. Alright, there we go. We got some here, we got some there. Let's see, this one is... Oh, you were already hiring those. Of course, you needed to patrol. But here's a few of these. So for now, they'll join the patrols. In the future... I'll, uh probably move them up or down not sure uh, anyway point is they are something and you can see every fort I have recruiting as many as possible even with just 800 gold I couldn't actually spend all my money on them and these guys are well they're significantly more expensive I think these guys hold the line better. 
Their morale isn't good, but with Taskmaster you can fix that. So their morale is kind of kind of junk, even with Taskmaster, but I think they hold the line really good. And I think what I need to do is have them in front and the giants step into them. Uh, but to let the initial enemy charge crash into this. Even if the enemy doesn't have lances, I think it's still better that way. Five of these guys in a tile is 50 hit points. Whereas... Well, two of these guys is 60 hit points. I don't know, maybe these guys hold the line better. These guys are really cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna hire some of them. I'm gonna incorporate them, and I'm gonna make them the front row. I am having trouble justifying it with words. I just have a feeling like this is how the fight should go. This should be in front. And then this should step in. They're actually slower, too. Interesting. Yeah. Still not working with the Frisbee teams yet. Not yet. When things get tight and I need to dump money into rapid recruiting, I'll, you'll probably see a lot of a lot of these kind of things going on, because these guys don't require much for resources, and you can just kind of poop them out. I'm also contemplating archers, just plain Jane archers. Well, not from there, but I think I had somewhere I could hire a bunch of them. Heavy Cavalry are interesting, too. Uh, nobody would expect me to do a Heavy Cavalry charge. I'd have to recruit them slowly over time. But uh, a whole bunch of archers might actually help me. We're just, we're just gonna start recruiting a bit. I don't want them on repeat. So let me turn that off. We'll do this on a case-by-case -case basis for now. This place will probably keep hiring every turn, though. We have a new palisade coming up here soon. This one's not going to have a ton of resources. But, in just three months, palisades! Oh, right! So, scouting! I should probably go through all my scouts and look at what everyone's up to. I've never swept this way, they're doing it. But I'm gonna have the sea soon. Or at least part of it. So, Atlantis will not be at my door at least. That was a huge concern, was if Atlantis could hit me anywhere on my shores. Oh, man. So if I can get as far as the Sea of Silence and put troops there, at least I'd have warning. And I could crank the terrain defense up a little. Ooh, double death. One of my Zots needs to check this out for death stuff. Same with uh, this forest over here when you see there's no growth. You're pushing into my stuff. I don't have very many temples up here, I know, but there's still six of them. That should do something, right? Particularly with all these priests. Right. How is research? 58 this turn. However, starting next turn start popping out quills on everyone, and uh, we're going to have a lot of demand on our poor wind crystals, because not only are we putting out quills on every researcher, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, plus one, Before the fall comes, this guy has to step upstairs again. Anyway, every single base is going to be producing more researchers every turn. 
who will also need owl quills. And so it's going to be... Well, really, it's only going to be a few bases up here doing every turn. The rest of them are probably going to be making Archons. And the Archons... I mean, some of them might be researchers, but... Ooh, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with them based on what magic they get. They might... I might end up... I might end up putting an Archon in, a, in every base that might be attacked. I don't know. Not there yet. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting defense up to 10 everywhere. But one of the things I want to do very soon is we're going to become st uh, another use for my poor wind is Call of the Winds. This is going to be difficult for me to cast, but these will help me with free patrols I can put everywhere. The problem is, as you can see, I don't have a single character capable of casting Call of the Winds yet. We're researching it, but unless we start doing the Archon thing, uh which we are going to do, but yeah, unless we start getting Archons, we can't actually use it. And I don't entirely know where I'm going next with magic. I really would like personal iron skin. That would be nice. Protective winds might also be useful if I had somebody who could cast it. But yeah, personal iron skin, good stuff. Ah, uh, got other stuff now. The temper flesh. Temper flesh. This would be really good too, wouldn't it? So yeah, going to alt four. Going to alt four feels like it would be really good. would give me access to... I don't know, some magic. I'd have to be- I'd have to go to Evo 3 to get the fireballs, which would be what I'd want, and the- the magma bolts. I'd like magma bolts. So, definitely a thing I would like. Enchantment has flying shields. It'd be pretty nice for a few of my units. Um, I could make Flaming Frisbees. Yeah, no, there's not a ton in enchantment that I really want. Um, there just isn't. Yeah, I know, Strength of Giants and all that should be, but, I don't know. Not that it, I mean, a pot of that is It's like, it's not that there isn't good stuff in there, but it's just not a priority. And Thaumaturgy is garbage! I keep looking it over, because inevitably I need to invest in it. And... It's got some outstanding things here and there, but just on a whole... Just on a whole, it's just not good for me. It's just not good for my... For, for, it's just not good for me until I get to 6 and 7, and then suddenly it's amazing! Dark Skies, if I could get somebody who could cast it. Holy crap, we wouldn't have to fear being attacked on the surface. Purgatory! What? You afraid of Lanka? <laughs> I could spread my domain into his. Yeah, he'd still have demons, but, uh, which could still be a nightmare, but, I mean, holy crap, that hurts him. Gigantomania, I mean, gotta have that. Vengeful Water, there's no way I'm casting this one. Dark Skies is already pushing it. Pushing what's possible. Yeah, I need to get uh, a lot of Earth and Fire boosters going. But, I mean, that's seven! I'm still at 58 research a turn. And the thing I really want is construction. I looked this thing up. It doesn't 
its hit points loss are always permanent. It doesn't heal. But it's pretty good. Um, it is a pretty good use of fire gems, I think. If you don't mind the fact that it'll die, because it can't heal, it bugs me. Anyway, Legions of Steel, fantastic. Forge of Ancients, fantastic. Mechanical Militia. I really like this one. And the Juggernaut is not something that can actually fight. I looked it up. It doesn't fight very well. It's kind of crap. You pretty much only make this because you want to spread your dominion. But it's pretty good for only 25 pearls if I could ever get an Astral 5 mage. Big if. Big if. Although this guy's been doing a fantastic job. Good work, my dude. I think you're on a roll. Why don't you try the Chilled Caverns, eh? Alright, anyway, I'm gonna spend some time dicking around with my sight searching and everything. He's gonna forge Dwarven Hammers. The Dwarven Hammers are gonna go to Quill Makers. The Quill Makers are gonna Quill. Because that's what they do. We still need to start a couple more palisades, and every palisade needs to be upgraded, needs to get a laboratory, and needs a temple. And that's expensive. So, um. And, uh, I need to build so many temples. I have so many guys ready. Could you please live one day? Just one day! You're awesome! He's in time. I'll be trying. Yeah, I really do think I'm gonna have to double up on this. As much as I desperately want to take all the underground before Alm does, I've learned my lesson about underestimating the crap down here. I've taken some painful lessons on. Uh, Bunyan is climbing the charts. And good for him. Is he getting faster? Yes, he is. He is getting very fast. Where did you find this? I didn't give you this. He stole this from some neutral that he killed. Huh. I... Huh. Huh. His water blessing wore off! It said it did wear off if you didn't- you needed to kill a god within a year. His water blessing is gone! No! I'd like to give it back to him. I really like the idea of a super fast, water, uh, super blessed guy charging the enemy. I bet that would catch other players off guard if this guy suddenly ran around and got into their back line. He'd probably get himself killed, but... Well, I have access to, t to Construct 3 now, so I can give him a little bit more. Anyway, I think we'll... Anyway, I think I'll just stick around for a little bit with, uh, small moves. All the big stuff has been decided. All the important stuff. In fact, I might not even have any little stuff to do. But yeah, starting next turn, our research should begin skyward. And I very much look forward to it. Very, very much. Yep, so because this is here now, this one is getting candles like crazy. This is gonna begin pushing. And then we got, yeah, so this here, again, is gonna be pushing. He's gonna find that my stuff just comes out in this area. He's just going to have to live with my scales over here. <laughs> Anybody who has a suit open open manhole cover is going to have my uh, 
stuff boil out of it. Pirates. Whatever these are. And the militias. Yep. If you clear them off, you'll have a hell of a lot of mercenaries. I wonder what you've been summoning all this time. I cannot see what's going on inside the city that's besieged. My scout can't get in! Should I... Should I bless you before you go into the water? As tempted as I am, I'm gonna just let them go. Um... I'm sp I wanna, but no, no, no. Alright. Shame the blessed world. I kinda feel like I should have you just forge water quills, or air, uh, owl quills. But no. Sight searching's important. And I'm so glad we're getting astral pearls. I'm so glad we're getting those. Those can be converted into anything in a pinch. We're gonna have death searchers. We're gonna have nat nature searchers very soon. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about glamour. We just don't have it. And we're gonna have a blood hunter! Please do not get horror marked. Please don't. Um... I sure hope these bodyguards do a good job. I'd give you these, but... Yeah. They refuse to be led by anybody who's not tall. I'm not entirely sure why I made this guy. Um... Oh. This is actually a good place to hire those. Uh, one step over to... I think three steps, and they're in there. That's acceptable. For the added research of being in Lanka stuff. As long as we don't ever fight Lanka, it's okay. Alright, you need to go over here. Maybe that's why I made you. Yeah, look at those mines of fortune. Oh yeah, we need to put we need to put a, a, a palisade here. Yeah, let's fort this up. This one has a gold deposit. This one don't got nothing. It's just awesome. Big populations. That's what we like. Our populations continue to grow, and our income continues to grow. And our expenses, as we hire large numbers of units, also grow. But as long as we're conquering, as long as we're conquering, it shouldn't matter how many spellcasters we hire, researchers. I'm going to shift gears towards combat soon. I'm here. I'm finally here. It's too late, I can't help. Not if... Not if Ulm has allied himself with uh, Atlantis. There's not shit I can do. I can't help you! I wish I could restore Ermor. I really wish Ermor held all of this. I really do! Ah, oh, Ulm wouldn't be nearly so threatening. I mean, he'd have more crap underground, but what can you do? Uh, Elm wouldn't be nearly as dominant. I counted, I think it was 42 provinces that I estimated Elm had last turn. And that was last turn. And I've only got 46. I feel uncomfortable about that. I think I have more forts than he does, though, maybe. Maybe not. 
I better have more forts under construction. And I don't know how his... I don't know how many temples he's got. But his pressure is unbelievable. We're supposed to have plus one about this. To uh, conflict whatever bonus. Um... I'm gonna bring this up to six. I don't want anything stupid happening. Hmm. So you went turmoil and productivity. Would you like it if my scales spread to your territory? Would you like that? You'd probably alarm you. Alright, anyway, uh, we'll just call it good for now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well. Conjuration 2 achieved. One more level and we'll be able to start summoning birds! Please no horror mark. Please no horror mark. Meteorite cliffs. There's a battle in Airmore, and Airmore is defeated. Oh, I didn't get any of the real prizes either. And that's the death. Summoned a lot more. Oh. He doesn't have his pretender either. Would you augurs be looking for a place for refuge? You can come work for me. Oh. I would love to have a bunch of astral mages. most of his army he took only about a third of the stuff and none of the stuff that's relevant those coral guards they worried me when I looked at the stats way back at the beginning I was like these could kill my giants this was actually the most worrisome thing in Atlantis's lineup to me and here they are slaughter Slingers did well for themselves, too. I haven't thought much of the Slinger as a unit, but uh, it has its uses. Alright. Very good. That's the final battle on that side, and now I don't know what to do with them. We are slowly bleeding out and suffering more and more injuries. This army is going to have problems. I'm going to have to be careful with it. That's how it should be! The Earth Gems, appreciate the money. Well, at least it wasn't my capital this time, but again, why do you keep stepping on my forts? Well, suddenly, the King of Pauline appeared at the gates of your fortified city and wanted to fight for your cause. The greatest of Gigantes, blessed by the Progenitor with the gift of immortality. As long as he remains in your land... Oh, he has Dominion Immortality. But I don't have a way to clear Affliction, so let's not, let's try not to use that. Uh, let's see, he got jealous, left for distant lands. He made himself king over mortal men. Centuries men suffered under his tyranny, but... With the emergence of the God Slayer, he has abandoned his kingdom and ran off to help me fight. Okay, that's good. All right, buddy, what you got? You're you're basically a souped-up polymark. That's what you are. You got formation fighter, combat caster. 
The Dominion Immortality is the one standout, and he's got an extra Earth. I wish he was Priest 3. Then he... But, you know, what can you do? He cannot claim a throne for me. <clears throat> he's missing his shield and his helmet. But he has more hit points. All in all, it's very much appreciated. Oh, and zero gold a year? Hell yeah, this guy's very appreciated. Um, what am I going to do with a guy with three earth? Good question. You... Side search with them? No, uh, actually, I know exactly what this guy's going to be doing. He's going to be forging. Feels like a little bit of a waste for an immortal to spend his time, but... I mean, do you know how long of a walk it is to the front lines right now? Okay, next up, we have made a bunch of these. Some dowels, too. Alright, patrols are stronger than ever. Yeah. Patrols everywhere. Are becoming more intense. Oh. Oh, this one can't hold anymore. Oh, I'll do something I never did. Uh, okay, we'll go back to that. Let's see who we got here. Oh, you definitely need the trolls. In fact, you don't even have the javelin guys. So you get another round of this. So that you can uh, be upped again. Now, this place has really weak patrols. I mean, it's good enough to do the job they're supposed to do, but it could be better. All right. You know what? You two are going to stop randomly and just patrol here. And then you're going to move and you're going to patrol. There's going to be Doing that, he'll beat the unrest out of them. It'll be great. Okay, these on repeat. Yes, 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 yes. Put them faster. You can go now. Don't mind if I can do this. We have heat on both sides. You can't go through the mountains there, though. Somehow these provinces aren't connected. No pass, huh? Alright, one, two, three, then he'll be home doing his job. Okay. Next up. Alright, next most important thing. I need you to make one of this. You need to make one of this. Okay. You need to make one of this. He lives! But I didn't receive the thing yet, so, you know. You've already got one, and further palisades are yet under construction. Alright. We're gonna do it like this. Okay, they're all together, so... As much as I want to bop over here and grab this 84, I'm worried that this army's getting too worn down. And, yeah, look at all those afflictions. Oof. It's getting rough. You guys have no way to get over there, so it comes the question, what are you all doing? Well... Otis. Guess we can keep a few bodyguards. All right, he can't have these, but he can do those. What he's gonna do is he's also gonna just be wa a wandering patrolman who's just gonna randomly patrol places and hopefully catch spies. Okay, this one. 
at least for the moment, can site search there. And this one can site search over there. What we're going to do with them after this, I don't know. I don't want them to go too far in case there's a war. They'll probably go over here and craft or research. Um, we might actually build a lab over here and use this spot. In fact, that's probably where they're going to be. Okay, moving on. Next question. Alright, you need to... Oh, there's a button you can push that shows you all of the uh, site search you've done. Why don't you site search over there? Okay. job is to begin site searching here. You can do those while he goes this way. That should work. Okay, okay. I don't know what to do. So, uh, I'm gonna have more things to sort out here. This guy. Can you believe we never sight searched Delta? We never did. So yeah, we gotta get on that. You. Go to the second forest. Oh, look how fast you are. Yeah, we're gonna start death searching. Begin. Okay. So what's gonna happen? I might need to adjust my research. Let's give it a second so I can sort a few things out first. We've done all the big moves. We haven't spent our cash yet. Archons forevermore. You are the first of the Archon production sites. Okay. If I get a Wind 3, I might even use one as a site searcher. I don't know. We could always use more air gems. Where is my. Ah, yes, you. Don't forget to site search. I wish the automate wasn't such crap. I did load the automate. Alright, anything else before we switch gears? spending phase. Oh, yes. You've got some junk. You've got very high protection. You've got even higher protection through spell casting. You've got a ton of attacks. Our magic resistance is... Well, yours is really low. But the other two's is really high. Oh, 
Please don't have some nasty secret wizard in there that just murderates me. I don't know how you have six candles there, but we're going for it. We're doing it. Boji! I have a special thing for you. You're gonna... Can't you go... I guess that's not faster? Alright, fine, whatever. You can go over there and claim that throne. Assuming they win. And maybe we'll fix these candles. You can put in a temple. We'll have to get one of those Zot's water breathing and sight search the Sea of Silence. I can't see. He might have spread further. Well, no matter. Okay, that's... That's the big one. Now, what next? Well... All right. I guess it's time to spend all of our money and fabricate our items and such. Let's begin over here. So, let's turn on all the researchers we're going to use, and begin handing them quills. We should be fine. Okay. That's a lot of quills. How much research are we getting now? 106! <clears throat> That's good. Two turns, we can have this. But I don't have many people who will be able to use it. Which is unfortunate. I don't think... It's, it's Also be able to find scorpion beasts, phoenix power, earth power. Very good things to have. So, unfortunately, I think I need to make a detour into enchantment for a second. You might wonder why, when enchantment doesn't have much to offer me, but I worry about the Zot I invested 50 blood in, and this would help a lot if, if, if the Zot gets attacked by random commoners, and the guards for some reason aren't there, because the guards are iffy whether they show up or not. This would be something that would save its butt. So, we will research that as a safety net, even if that might make me wait an extra turn on Conjuration. Might, maybe. After that, I'm pretty sure we're going to the next level of construction. Soldiers of Steel is good. Um, this thing's pretty epic. Fighting underwater for those, but no, 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 no. Uh, Soldiers of Steel and then greater magic items. Beyond that, we probably want to go further up this route, but we'll see. Okay, that leaves. You are now going to have this, and you are going to be set to... Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Whip, ho! Oh. Next, I don't want to burn up all my engines doing this, but but we need a lot of these quills. So many potential things we could forge. All right, two hammers are now at work. Somehow forging quills. Mm. 
I want to make more research items, because we could equip a second one if I have somebody make another kind of research item. Alright, next up. I don't think they have any forge tools, but you'll go around searching. You're gonna get the next hammer, and that'll be three quills a turn, which I think we can use. We will be slowly losing wind, and then we'll end up uh, conjuring, conjuring piles of birds as soon as we get a wind tool. Do this, and those will help us. All right, I guess it's money spending time. What are we spending our money on today? Well, we still have four thousand left, which is a pretty comfortable number. I think this site needs a palisade. Definitely. Let's see, this one does too. This one needs one, that one needs one. We'll have to get guys there. Alright, we could build labs or we could build temples. So I'm gonna go ahead on the border here. I'm going to set this to auto. So this border is going to be well protected. We're going to have to send a guy over here to patrol. That's going to have to happen. We're going to need money to upgrade fortifications because a lot of places are going to build in the next couple of turns. But I probably don't need to this side needs a fort. Hmm. Yep, we'll have to send a uh, guy over there to uh, build labs and stuff. Hmm. Perhaps you need to go there instead. Run, run, run. Yeah, he can build a temple, you can build a lab. It could be nice. Okay, next up. This site. You can't patrol anymore. Wow. This guy will have to scoop them up and be patrolling with them. In the meantime, go ahead and make another match. I think I'll set this on repeat for the moment. Okay, what about the capital? Hmm. Well, Dirk here is already loaded down. He can't take it. So, I'll have to have a different guy pick them up. I should be fine. I don't know if I want them on repeat. I guess I do. Yeah, I guess I do. This is fine. This site! Now, the underground ones, they might not need as many. Oh, you actually Oh! Um... Realistically speaking, it's harder and harder for them to get out. You've got a pretty good sized horse there, man. I don't think you need any more. Not here. Uh, 
I think they're gonna stop after that. that's very unlikely to get attacked, unless I fight Lanka. But see, this one's still constructing, there are lots of places that are still constructing, but... Oh. Should be good. Alright, we can put temples in places. Where do we need the most? Hmm. Here is a pretty rugged ragged edge. I could definitely pop temples in here. Um, I could. Oh, shit! Oh, this side needs a fort. Make a fort here as well. Being being a bit greedy, perhaps, but imagine it. Imagine the sheer number of fortresses that are going to appear throughout my land. All of them increasing my income a bit. All of them giving me new sites I can hire from, so that I can, in an emergency, I can hire a lot of guys. And. Who wants to attack somebody who has like 150 fortresses? <laughs> that would be a ton of trouble. I don't know. I don't know how the magic works. There might be magic that makes castle taking easy. I don't know. The primary thing is just going to be the fact that uh, I'll be able to hire more people all over the place. That's the important thing. And I'm choosing sites that have good incomes. I'm choosing sites that have have uh, good incomes. So a 40% boost, and eh, minus about 10% for unrest. It's still a 30% boost. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Well, with a superior iron mine, might actually be able to produce a lot of, a lot of heavily armored units, too. Okay, we've spent every penny. We've researched... Well, we set our researchers up. We're making more quills. We're making more... Uh, we've got more hammers out. Am I forgetting anything? This guy gets the next hammer. It'll be three quills a turn, henceforth. We'll try to get a couple more hammers and forge other things. This is the battle I'm most nervous about. I've had some bad experiences with thrones and just unexpected things happen. Our weakest is at 28, or if it gets boosted by a temper armor. Four hit points with regen of two a turn. Should be good, right? This guy should absolutely kick ass. This guy should absolutely kick ass. So, uh, uh, actually, your protection is the lowest, but you have a big ass shield, and you will definitely receive the tempered armor. And stone skin, so you'll be great, actually. You're the only one not getting stone skin. No, you guys should be able to handle everything in the sea. And you should be a threat if it comes to war. You can Viking any number of places. I'm sure he is scouting here somehow. He got those candles in there somehow. It's hard to get your candles into the water, right? We're 
not. Well, anyway. From here, I'll just be digging with my scouts a little bit. We're done. That was the move. Hall of Fame is calcified at this point. Yep. I'd like more of my warriors to be famous. Oh well. Ah, uh, ooh, eggs. Well, you're a little late. I could back up by the X and use that to make sure. I could. Actually, I sort of feel like I should buy the X just to prevent Alm from having them. No, it would take him too long. It would take him too long. It's safe. We're good. Keep sight searching my minions. We're gonna sight search all over the place. I need to get sight searchers going down this tunnel. I need to get multiple of them going. We've got two guys. But I feel like I should get another. I should definitely get another sight searcher going down those those halls. Hey look, what are we doing? A sight searcher! Should I make an, another Cyclops? The Cyclopses seem like they'd be good, both for forging and for fighting. Look at that Alright, look, buddy. Just put this on. It bugs me that your head is exposed. Alright, that is better. That is much better. That's the bare minimum for you to get by. Uh, you're probably going to get outfitted and go nuts. I guess I'll leave the spear, though I kind of want to give him the flail. The double-hitting flail that I gave the uh, Cyclops is so awesome. But the spear is pretty freaking good too. I'll leave the spear over there. But I'd like to make a bunch of holy scourges and equip equip a bunch of guys with them. These guys. I mean, the golden spear is really good, but gold, uh, holy scourges would double the number of attacks they get, and it would increase their accuracy. So I mean. Four points of accuracy. You'd lose some defense and you'd lose some length. But four points of accuracy and a second attack? Oh man. Just a squad of uh just a, just a squad of these guys with those? And uh, something to back them up with some buffs. Terrifying. But it is a two-handed weapon. That is the drawback. And that is a major drawback. Hmm. Losing the shield seems like that would hurt. Alright, anyway... Anyway, we've got spies moving all over the place, all sorts of stuff going on that needs micromanaging from here. This one seems to be my least patrolled base. Anyway, patrols are getting thicker, mostly because I don't have anything for soldiers to do that I hire, so I might as well let them patrol. And I would rather catch all the scouts touching my forts if I could. I don't want anyone knowing where my troops are or what they're doing. I don't want anyone knowing what I'm up to. 
probably going to need to throw... Like, oh! One more quill, please. Maybe I'll make four quills a turn. I don't know. We'll see. We're still making those hammers. Making, buying, trading. Whatever I can get. Enjoy your bed rest, sir. Whatever I can get. Hmm. At some point, we're gonna spam out a lot of temples again. I could probably outlay... So I might be able to put down as many as seven temples in a turn, can you imagine? At some point, I'm gonna do it, too. And it'll just be like, TEMPLES! <laughs> and all of a sudden... I'll be able to have more candles. Yeah, particularly around here, though. Around here, in particular, it would be good to get more... To get more temples up. He's got nothing to do, he should preach, right? Even if it doesn't do anything. If you got nothing to do, why would you just sit still? Do something! Yeah. I'll need to get, uh... I'll need to get guys to build labs in a lot of places. That's gonna be expensive. Every fort needs a lab. And, uh, yeah, I need to count out how many forts am I constructing right now. It's a lot. One, two, three, four, five. I need one here also very much. Any place that there's a gateway. So let's see, five, plus we go to the surface, six, seven, eight, nine forts are currently under construction. Nine forts are under construction. This one actually needs an upgrade. Um... to, uh... I'll have to have that upgraded. Why don't you actually go for there and upgrade that? That should be good. Yeah, we want them... We want them... We want them all to have two commander points each. But yeah, no, um, we're gonna get a lot of assassins. And, oh my gosh. This fall, most of them won't be done yet. But next year, holy crap. When I compare that to what I can see of other players, they don't have a lot of forts. Lanka's got just a few. Alm has a bunch. Alm is heavily fortified. Large my income is with the growth continuously pushing it up. If only I had, if only I had the throne of spring, uh, the other throne of dreams. Yeah, don't want that. That made a total mess of me. Look at this magic and sloth. Way to screw up my uh, scales. Love the gems though. Yeah, don't want that one. It'd be so nice. Everywhere growing even faster. I really would like this game to run a lot longer. But I know the magic would crush me in the late game because I don't st just don't understand the, how the late game magic works. What is and is not possible. People talk about Tartarus a lot and it sounds terrifying. 
What is that up there? Enchantment? Let me take a look. Let's see, he's not here. 150 soulless. And a whole bunch of long dead. Maybe it's Thaumaturgy. Nope, this is Remnants of the Depths. Ah, uh, would it be Alteration No, but it must be Conjuration. Oh, what is this? Ah, here it is. Only seven. And you get a really powerful undead that has terrible status effects. If you can cure the afflictions and awaken it to a commander, they have crazy magic. So it requires several different components to make it work. You'd have to have nature, I think it is, to awaken. You'd have to have a death seven. But I mean, just seven gems, holy crap. Or, well, you know, you can awaken the Tarrasque. I don't know what its stats are, but it can't be weak. All the forests spread dominion as if they were temples. This. That would be great. There's another one in uh, Enchantment. If you had, theoretically, because there's one in Glamour that could do that too. Uh, s sort of. Did a little differently. But yeah, the Forest one, the Glamour one, and then Blood Sacrifice, I'm pretty sure you could Dom kill the world if you built your game around doing that. But it's so late game. Right now, we're still building our candles up everywhere. There's a ton of ground to cover, and it'll take a long time to cover it all. When I do my next round of templing everything, the pressure, the pressure in this fire hose will dramatically increase. And hopefully it'll sweep the rest of the circle. I really would love to have temples in every tile down here and fort up all of the holes. There's so many of them. So many holes. If only, if only I could chase Ulm out and finish conquering it. I'm concerned, very concerned. So we don't have enough troops. I could hire another guy and have this guy lead a force to assist. Well, these are javelins, and some of that would be a screening force to help keep my giants safer, reduce the loss of giants for a little while. ones who aren't afflicted are becoming badasses. But the afflictions are getting real bad. I want to conquer rapidly. Depending on what's in the lost world, we'll probably split into parties again.
might be dumb enough to do it. I could easily go make a bunch. And it would be gold. Gold. It's like spending 20 earth gems to build a temple. Or, you know, I could just hang on to my fire gems and use them to summon things that don't have uh, maintenance costs. Which will probably be the brass bull someday. I might seriously go for construction six. I mean, that forge. That forge! Actually, that's one of the goals I haven't done, but I want to do, is I want to push my PV up to, like, 20 in every place. I think that would be fantastic. 30 if I could get the mechanical one. It's so expensive, but, I mean, at 30, it would be really hard for people to send sneaky scouts and barbarian hordes into my territory without getting spotted, I think. I don't know really, really how well the... I don't know how good the patrols are at catching things. I don't really know how, how much you need to catch spies consistently. Or even inconsistently. But, um... Yeah, and then also having a bunch of mechanical men that can't run away in your prophet's defense, as well as the mechanical flies that shock. I looked them up. They're, they're okay, but they won't run away, and you'd get a bunch of them, and uh, it would make it painful to attack into me. You would need to have large, ar large enough armies to take the PD without losing a lot of resources. And then, of course, I'd have my armies in the territory, too. I don't know, maybe maybe this is just new going, ooh, that sounds amazing, and maybe this is one of the things all the experienced players are like, no, that's the worst spell ever. But it looks so good, and I want it. I want it. And yeah, then there's Thaumaturgy. It's always on my mind. Giganto Machia, build a crap ton of temples, then I can bombard a player with this. I mean, it makes the armies desert. And, more importantly, well, it blasts their dominion away. Theoretically, all would be impossible. He's too big. But... If I had to fight somebody else, somebody smaller with less candles, if it came to it, I don't know I could handle fighting the fire giants. I don't know if I could handle fighting the demons. But with like a million temples, if I could keep the, all the temples from being burned at least for a bit, I mean, I would probably lose a bunch of them, but, you know, keep as many as possible, and then just, uh, bombard. If, uh, if, 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 oh, so many ifs. If I got construction up high enough, and got an Astral 2 mage, you could even do the, uh, scouts with heretics in their back pocket thing, and that would shoot stuff up. I need to work on Glantis, maybe? I haven't seen a lot of temples from him. I haven't seen a lot of temples from him. It might work. Tenshi Universe is actually only at three candles. How did I get two candles here? That's a random event that was his misfortune. That's what that was. 
That's what that was. Okay. Well, this was fortune, I guess. Alright, anyway, uh... I know, I keep looking for excuses to make more moves. I want to keep playing, but now I have to wait. I want to keep playing, but now I have to wait. <laughs> oh! Man. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm negotiating trade to get an extra hammer in because my earth gems are out. Uh, I should be getting that disease cure soon from Alm. Hmm. We got our blood hunt started. How profitable will that be? How long will it take for it to pay for itself? And then I can have a second Zot join in at a different, uh, I want every single one of my forts to be doing this. Since they've all got, um, patrols anyway. During the fall, they'll probably wander outside the fort, because of the huge spike of unrest. Wouldn't want to contribute to that till it's cleared up. Or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it works. I'm still kind of new to blood hunting. I've only dabbled a little bit and did like one one single player game as Lanka, and I don't think I did it very well. So we'll see. 